Hello, everyone. This is Christian. So there's a question about, um, you know, mobile first, and that's a great topic that uh, most of you posted on discussion. So I want to just kind of do a short video to show you uh, how to load CSS or style sheets to your web page based on needs, meaning like based on certain breakpoints. Okay, so you can kind of see it live and see how that works. So uh, here is an example of that. So here we have uh, two style sheets. I call it the red and the blue. I just put the star, it's a well card, I apply to the entire web page. So when I when I load it to the HTML, you know, but again, the, the one that takes precedence is the one that's closer to the content. So in this case, red. But you see that when I load the regular style sheet this way on the browser, if I go to the elements under the style styles here, you see both the red and the blue are loaded here. So the blue is cross style because the red takes over, okay? So it doesn't matter what size I, I, I use here. And the size you can see up here on the top right, is the, you're looking at just the Y axis, okay? Or the X axis actually, the width. So it, it, you know, it takes over in that case. So that means that whether the blue is used or not, it still get loaded. And if, imagine your style sheets have like hundreds or thousands of lines in there. Some of those may not be needed at all because you do not take care of that it's going to get loaded and it'll be, you know, used to uh, um, calculate the render to the browser anyway. So sometimes if you have a lot of CSS stuff there, maybe some of those don't really need to be loaded, okay? Because if you have a lot of them, they can actually cause some performance issues. So we learned that you can actually, you know, set a certain breakpoint to your devices. Now we're looking at, you know, mobile devices, different screens. And so you can go down here and let me go ahead and turn this red off. And I'll use, um, let's say I'm going to de design using two uh, different devices, okay, different screen size. And based on those screen size, it will load the red or the blue, okay? So the blue, so that the red means I have a minimum width of 600 pixels. So that means that as long as the screen size is greater than 600 pixels, the red will apply. And the blue will not apply until the minimum width is, you know, greater than 800. But because 800 is actually greater than 600, that means the red will still apply, right? So uh, if you look over here, right now, we're at, um, okay, we're at about 740. Okay, 740, because we did not reach the blue yet, the red has already been reached. So therefore you see the red only applies. What this, this means is that even though I loaded two style sheets here, okay, the blue is not actually being used at all. So that it was not being rendered to your browser. So all the content inside, all the code inside this block will not be rendered. So it saves you, you know, extra CPU time, right? Until I stretch this out, if I reach over the 800, you see that blue comes back on, even though, you know, the blue is, is not being uh, used, it gets turned on because why? The rules here still apply, right? So the rule is the red takes precedent because it's loaded first. So therefore now the blue is turned on, but the red is still on. Why? Well, because, you know, 800 is actually, actually it, it meets this criteria. So how do you prevent that from happening? I want to load only the red when, you know, you know, a certain time. If you want to keep it so that every time certain, you know, uh, things will load at the 600 pixel, you put it here. Maybe at certain times you want to do something like, you know what? When I reach, um, so the red, only this gets displayed or rendered between 600 and let's say, you know, 800. So that's what you put here at the end. At the end, I'm gonna put here the max width now. It's at eight, I'll put 799, okay? So the 800 is the, the, the break point for the other one. So as long as between, um, you know, 600 and 799, only the red will run. And they want to reach 800, the red gets turned off. You can see over here now, because we're already over the 800 mark. Um, okay. Uh, okay, it's connected. I don't want to connect that one. Okay, I want to just do the, the screen. Okay, so here is uh, at 810. Okay, because 810 supersedes the 799, the red is turned off. But if I go below that, right, so you see now the red gets turned on the blue is now turned off because the minimum is 800 and we're now below 800, okay? So then you do the same thing for the blue. If the blue reaches a certain width, you know, uh, let's say 1200, then that gets turned on and so forth. And this is how you load CSS based on needs, based on different screen sizes.
Okay, you can do here in the CSS like I just showed you here. Sometimes, uh, you know, you want to do it on the link tag as opposed to you know, what you see here. Oh, you can do both, but you have to be kind of careful because it gets a little bit confusing. So let's say that I'm going to go back to what I was, had before. I'm going to turn this off. Okay, assume that the blue will get turned on uh, when between 800 and 1200, the red gets turned on only 6 and 800. Okay. So up here on the style sheet, we load the style sheet. Go back to the school room before, right? So I want to load the blue. You put here the media tag, and you put here the minimum width. I want to load the blue only when I reached um, 800. Well, let's call it 801, OK? 801 PX. And I want to turn it off when I have the max width at 1,200. So it only runs when you reach that width. So now you can see that the blue is now turned off until I reach the 800 pixel minimum. If you go on the right, you see that now it gets to 800 and boom, there it is, blue comes on, okay? If I go above that until 1200, then the blue will actually go away right about um, now. Here you go, right? You can see I load only the one that I need. Okay, so that is how you would tackle this problem. Um, so in a way, it's like a feature we usually come and call lazy loading in JavaScript, right? So this one, let's say, let's say I put here 600, 600 to uh, 800. So I load two different style sheets. So now the order here is not, it doesn't matter anymore in this case, if I'm loading this way, because the numbers here will get, you know, um, calculated based on the screen size. So right now, because I'm I'm you know below 600, I mean below 800 and 600, the red gets loaded, right? Okay, and then because I'm out of the range, back to the default. If I go above 800, the red is now disappear. As you can see down here, it's gone. The blue it's loaded, and then until I move up to 100, and then the blue goes away. So again, the order is not important anymore. If I swap the two, you can see here, okay, you can see that you know it doesn't matter, right? Because it's based on the screen size now. So yeah, I hope that helps, you know, you can understand how you can load certain CSS to your page based on the screen size. Now, it's important you put a range. If you don't want to put a range here, that means sometimes, you know, let's say as long as it's more than 600, I want to apply this rule to some rules to the page. But there's also times that when, you know, a certain range, certain maximum width, you only apply certain things. So in that case, it's not really that useful to in this case. So in, in this situation, you have to go down here and add more media query just to block off a certain tags or certain uh, feature only apply to that certain condition. Okay, so I hope this helps. And um, a great questions, great posts. So keep those coming. And I look forward to reading more of your, your discussions. Thank you so much. Bye.